Hello and welcome back to my Lexus IS200. As you've seen in the previous video, my Fiat Brava is now gone. I wanted a cheap luxury retro daily that could still do the miles, but one that wasn't so precious that I'd be too scared to run it into the ground. And what could be a better way to break in my new car than driving it all the way to London to get a bagel? because we don't get bagels in Liverpool. Like in my previous road trip, my brother Finn was on hand to provide me with things to keep me entertained on the journey. Right, what have we got for entertainment on our journey then? Brick Lane by Monica Alley. Could be a clue there. Oh, for God's sake. Truss, top six moments. Bloody hell. She must be saving the other four for the sequel. Right, off we go then. What are you doing? I wanted to try Beagle too. We are growing wheat more competitively than the Canadian prairies. Oh, for God's sake. So here we are, driving to London. And if truth be known, this car doesn't need braking in at all. Number one, I brought it back from Watford. And number two, it's done 166,000 miles. Lexus was quite clearly gunning for the E46 with the IS200. I mean, it's a given. You wouldn't run a race that you wouldn't want to win, would you? But to match a car that was about to outsell the well-respected Mondeo was a pretty tall order. Now I've owned an E46 myself and although I didn't kiss its arse as much as the press and the fanboys, I am in agreement with them. It is a proper, solid luxury driver's car. But let me tell you something about the IS200. It is an underdog. I'll be in Beijing opening up new pork markets. I've had to pull over, not because there's anything wrong with the car, just because Liz Truss has come to an abrupt end. It's unusual, isn't it? Track five, maybe? I am a fighter and not a quitter. I am resigning as leader of the Conservative no, Party. I've listened to that bit already. After Liz Truss had left within six minutes. That is a disgrace. We left it to legendary Liverpool broadcaster Pete Price to keep us entertained. <laughs> Pete Price's Sunday Best. Call now. I wear Hugo Boss all the time, especially my tops. Oh, Malcolm. It's there, Peter. Um, I'll tell you what, Malcolm, don't talk when you talk in your proper voice, all right? Just, just, no, 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 talk in your proper voice, Malcolm. Just, just, the other time you didn't talk like that when you spoke to my producer, he's just told me. 72 years old. Malcolm, you are not 72, you're 15, pretending to be 72, you prat. I've seen two children fighting over the Gap t-shirt and I didn't know what they were fighting about and I said stop fighting and it was important God you're oh, intelligent I bet you have to take your bra off to count to two now then so what are your thoughts on Russia? you know I'd say what they're doing is actually quite Lexus could have easily just made a free series and C-class wish it was put a bit of leather and wood in and be done with it they could have even done a rebadged Corolla and palmed it off to us as something brand new, but they didn't. Now look closer, and this is in fact a Toyota, a Toyota Altezza from the States to be precise. But it feels like a standalone product. So by giving the car its own personality and not being lazy with the design, you've got the perfect recipe for an underdog. It's rear wheel drive too, so it's the perfect rival for the Beamer. It's smaller, the driving position's better, and it's more engaging. Not that I've been very engaged driving down this anonymous stretch of British motorway. Do you think the McCann's are guilty? As well as growing increasingly concerned for Pete Price's blood pressure. This is why I hate bank holidays, you scumbags! We also grew increasingly in need of something to tide us over to our bagel. We've just briefly broken away from the road trip to talk about one very important aspect of this car, the styling. And the reason why it's so important for me is because I knew nothing about how great this car was. All that attracted me to it was the way it looked. And from the front, well, you've got a really mean look about it. Angular, edgy, perfect for getting people to move out of the fast lane 
into the slow lane. You've then got your side profile with your really high belt line, which adds to the sportiness of the car. And of course, at the back, these triangular silver period correct tail lights with circles inside. Elegant, beautiful and restrained are three words that don't fully match the description of this car. It simply just works. <laughs> Content with the IS2's capability up front, it was time to see what it was like in the back. A decent executive car must be as comfortable for the passenger as it is for the driver. To find out if the IS200 passes muster, I'm joined in the back by children's TV executive, Ray Pugh. Now, Ray Pugh. Yes, Ray Pugh. Ray Pugh. What's it like in the back of the IS200? You know, I do find it to be a lovely car. you got the armrest, you know, cup holders and ashtray. Really just top of the range. We'd kitted out the back of the Lexus to provide Mr Pugh with everything he needed to conduct a test of rear passenger comfort and refinement. Now, you should have next to you, Mr Pugh, an expensive bottle of Dom Perignon. Oh, this one. That's the one. All we need you to do, Ray, in the interests of testing rag quality, is pour yourself a, a glass of said wine into the wine flute provided without spilling any. It's 50, 60, 70, 71. It's corked. What the hell am I going to tell me, fleet manager? You're listening to Friday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. A bit of your big toe. Yes, you're looking at the inside of the big toe. So if you look at the toe as like a, a, a circular shape, it's now half and half. It is. It's... It, Look, I mean, they've done it a brilliant job. Ryan emails, I ordered a pizza and the delivery driver didn't want to walk down our road. When I complained, he said, the walk will do you good. Looking at you, you should spend more time in the gym. He then shouted, enjoy the pizza, fat boy. As we edged closer to London, now was a good time to discuss what type of fuel economy I'd achieved from the Ard Lex. 80 to 100 pound fill up, 400 miles out of a tank, 35 to 40 miles per gallon if you're looking. As we entered the capital, we were running out of things to talk about. Big Ben has not only been seen wearing a yellow North Face, but there was uproar in 2017 when people thought he was being renamed Massad Muhammad. All right. Five letters disapproved of by the Queen. Diana? Yes. Eight letters. Definition outdated. Monarchy? Yeah. <laughs> There's definitely elements in that. Can you sing you in the lobby? <laughs> Now joined by our two cousins, we set about finding the Beigel shop. So here we are in London, and I couldn't be prouder of the car. We're just around the corner though, from the famous Brick Lane Beigel shop. So, forget about the car, it's time to try one. Ta son. How much are they? 12.50. 12.50? 